Hi, I'm City Attorney Wes Duncan here with a City Attorney Update. You know, there's been a lot that's been going on in our office. In September, we launched a Senior Citizen Fraud Prevention Initiative, and the uh, purpose of this initiative was to arm our senior citizens and residents uh, within the City of Sparks with the information that they need to protect themselves against fraud, online scams, and those pesky phone calls that you get uh, on your cell phone. We've been really uh, having a great time getting out in our community, uh, doing numerous presentations to a lot of different folks, and feeling like we're making a difference in fraud prevention uh, by doing those efforts and doing those uh, fraud prevention presentations. You know, another initiative uh, that our office is, is proud to announce is that the city attorney's office is co-hosting and is partnering with the Humane Society of the United States uh, on a training about animal cruelty and the connection between animal cruelty and other violent crime. You know, obviously, no one wants to see uh, their pet or an animal uh, that's abused uh, in our community. But oftentimes, what people don't understand is that the signs of animal abuse uh, often lead to other really, really violent crime. So we're partnering. Uh, with the Humane Society and we're going to give a training to be able to see the signs, give prosecutors the tools and law enforcement officers the tools to be able to see those signs, to prosecute those cases and hopefully deter uh, more violent crimes uh, within our community. Lastly, um, you know, the City Attorney's Office and the City of Sparks uh, backs our businesses uh, w within our city and we appreciate uh, the, the uh, benefits that come from having a small business or having a business within the city of Sparks. And you've probably seen uh, more enforcement from the Sparks Police Department uh, trying to, to cut down on the amount of retail theft, petty larceny that we have been seeing in our community. You know, I want to make clear that from the city attorney's office, we have a zero tolerance policy for people who are going to come into the businesses in the city of Sparks and try to rip people off and steal from them. And so anyone who does that in our community is going to be arrested and they're going to pro be prosecuted. You'll see more about this initiative and the efforts that our office and Sparks Police Department are doing in the coming weeks. Well, that's our update and uh, thank you so much for your time.